So good morning, everyone. We just entered Yellowstone. This is the Madison River along the west entrance of Yellowstone, heading down towards Old Faithful. And I had I wasn't planning on filming any more in Yellowstone, but I had to film this river steam. It's only 33 degrees out here, about 8:35 in the morning, and the water's warmer, so you get this wild river steam coming off the river. Pretty darn cool. But we're gonna make our way down Grand Teton, and the next time you hear from me, unless I see a really cool animal here in Yellowstone, it'll be a Grand Teton. All right, so we are in Grand Teton National Park and we're heading towards Jenny Lake for a little uh, lunch. We stopped off at the uh, gro uh, grocery store here on, in Grand Teton Park, got ourselves some sandwiches, some water, some fruit, and we are going to sit out there at Jenny Lake and we are going to have our lunch and then we're going to do a little hike in the Jenny Lake area, but as you can see in front of us, we got the beautiful Grand Teton Mountains, snow-capped, looking gorgeous. And we'll see if we can see some uh, wildlife today. We left uh, through West Yellowstone's entrance this morning. I uh, had that quick stop to show you the steam coming off the, the uh, river there. So, uh, but now we're in Grand Teton for the next two days and we'll see what we can find here at the park and hopefully we can bring you some good wildlife shots but who knows haven't seen any so far today but we'll be back with you once we uh, get into uh, Jenny Lake we are at Jenny Lake at Grand Teton National Park and it is stunning and it is really crowded out here but we grabbed our food we bought at the grocery store ate it at the picnic area now here we are at beautiful Jenny Lake. You have tour boats out there as well that you can take. We'll zoom on in on those people having a good time, but absolutely stunning with the mountains behind. So we're at the moose habitat here at Gr the backside of Grand Teton and right in front of me there, that is a bull moose lying down in the swampy area down there. Unbelievable. I've been waiting to try to see a moose. I never thought I'd get a bull moose. <laughs> All right, so we're making our way through Teton Pass over to Idaho to stay in our hotel for the night. We uh, That was an awesome moose sighting there with that bull. And uh, after that, we left uh, Grand Teton National Park had to do a detour because there were some kind of issues around Jackson Hole. And then we have just come over the top of the Grand Tetons. And now we're on the downward side, uh, on the other side of the mountain from the National Park. And we're moving on down the hill. And this will take us down uh, to the Idaho border and then into Driggs, Idaho, uh, into our hotel for the night. Yeah, we're welcoming into Idaho, baby, and we're in Teton County, Idaho. So now we are going to head down into Driggs and uh, call it a day. Get some food, maybe hit the pool in the spa. Sounds like a good idea. We'll see you in the morning. All right, so we are back in the car, heading back to Grand Teton National Park. We are uh, just leaving our hotel in Driggs, Idaho. And um, we got about a 50 minute drive to Grand Teton from here. And the reason why we're staying in Driggs is because the closest hotels to Grand Teton are in Jackson Hole. And those hotel rates are a bit nutty. Uh, $800 a night, $1,000 a night, $1,500 a night in Jackson Hole. Certainly not worth uh staying there and staying here in Driggs, we're talking $200 a night. Uh, so a big difference is worth the 50 minute drive back to the park over the pass. So we are going to get going. We'll be back in Wyoming uh, at Grand Teton and hopefully we'll be able to see some more wildlife today, but hard to say. But the first stop we'll make is back at that moose habitat on the backside of Grand Teton 
that we were at yesterday afternoon when we saw the moose, the bull moose. Hopefully we can get better shots, maybe some more moose in the area, but we'll see what happens. So I'll be back with you as we uh, get into Grand Teton. There he is. Here he's coming out. Oh yeah, beautiful. Beautiful shot, Jack. Oh my God, this is great. This is so better, better than the bull moose that was just lying down yesterday. Yeah. Are they both bull moose? They are. Are they? Yeah, I see a rack on both. They must be brothers or something or else they'd be attacking each other. Good thing we decided to walk in farther today, Jack. Yeah, no kidding. So we're done with lunch, and now here is beautiful Jackson Lake. This is the northern part of the Grand Teton National Park, just before you get to the south entrance of Yellowstone, probably eight, nine miles away from the south entrance of Yellowstone is this beautiful overlooking picnic area here at Jackson Lake, and it is this beautiful. All right, so right now we're off the beaten path at Grand Teton. We're on the Arizona Creek Trail. Now this this uh, off-road car trail, SUV trail, truck trail, takes you to the trailhead for where you walk to get out. But I want to kind of give you a demo of how this Highlander uh, is doing uh, or will do as far as uh, getting you to the trailhead off-road. So we're going to put this in the drive and off we go. Obviously, we don't have a lot of ground clearance here, so we've <laughs> got to be careful of the rocks in the trail, but it does pretty well. Here's the trailhead now. It does pretty well getting you to the trailhead off-road, but I wouldn't take it on any big, huge off-road trails with because it's just not going to have the ground clearance in the Sully front wheel drive to get you through the toughest parts. But to a trail that's been used before, it isn't too crazy, you should be fine in this vehicle. And there we go and now we're back on a more smooth part of the trail so it does pretty well it does pretty well and uh, so we're done with our hike here on the Arizona Creek Trail at Grand Teton that's where we've been didn't see any animals though you know it's the afternoon most of them are lying low when the temperature goes up the animals tend to sit in the shade take it easy uh, so we're gonna head back out onto the regular park loop and uh, start heading down to the southern end of the park because that's how we're going to need to exit at the end of the day to get back to the hotel. We got moose in all sorts of different ways here, don't we? The 
like finally a female. There's another one coming in the water now, Jack, from the ground. It's land. a younger one. Yeah, it's a baby. Uh, I'm going to go up where they are. There might be a better view. Let's keep up there. Oh, now she's swimming. Oh. so cool to have a whole family of moose, mama, baby, dad, in the water. All right, so how about that final bear action? The final road out of Grand Teton, the last day, and we get a family of bears, a mom and two cubs. Unbelievable action. We're coming up now here to the exit of Grand Teton, and we're gonna be heading back to our hotel uh, in Driggs, Idaho, and that will conclude the national parks on our trip. We saw Teddy Roosevelt, we saw Mount Rushmore, uh, we saw Yellowstone and now Grand Teton and now we're going to be exploring Idaho in the next video where tomorrow we're going to be riding horses up at uh, up at Eagle Ridge Ranch and uh, up further about an hour north of where we're staying and then we're going to be at the the hot lava springs or lava hot springs Idaho that's it and down in southern Idaho down around around highway 80 exploring and swimming in those hot springs so that'll be interesting so next up will be idaho exploration and then unfortunately it's time to turn the car east and start heading back home but it's going to be a long long drive home that's for sure we'll see you guys tomorrow